Our concern is that this industry just has such a bad track record that if you leave a loophole, they'll drive a truck through it. <laughs> um, we know, for instance, that under what they're proposing, and this has been leaked, but pretty much confirmed from what we understand, you'd still be able to advertise. Well, you wouldn't advertise in children's program. You could definitely advertise gambling in family programs. So <laughs> if you're sitting down and watching MasterChef or Lego Masters, you could have gambling ads twice an hour there under, the, under what they're proposing. So... I think, look, the real, the real challenge is to, uh, we have all the crossbenchers, all the minor parties, all the independents that uh, are fully supportive of all of the 31 recommendations. The only real way I think the major parties can get away with doing this and not feel like they're going to bear the wrath of uh, media <laughs> tycoons is to do it together. And, and then they're both in the same, uh, the same boat True. and they're backing the Australian people who have clearly... Seven out of ten people. I, I talk to people every day. People, I don't tell them what my job is. And I'm amazed, probably in the last two years more than ever, just how angry people are at the sheer amount of ads that are invading their TV screens and their, um, their computers and how sport has just been completely overtaken by it.